engines. Um, so he says that's not exactly it's something to demonstrate in, in the simulator and so forth, you know, what happened here. Well, um, you can practice for that all you want in the simulator. It's really hard to, to recreate an incident just like this. And as far as I can tell, the pilots kept the nose pretty straight. It wasn't, the airplane didn't fly because they, the nose got off so far. The airplane didn't fly because they, they only had power out of one engine. That's why it didn't get airborne. All right, the genius at work uh, writes, engine one blew up, cowling and other parts uh, is on the side of the runway, blew up or collision with a ground vehicle. Well, there's no indication. I think they'd know at this point if they had collided with a ground vehicle. Now, what the NTSB did say is they did what they call a FOD walk down for an object debris of the runway and they'll, they'll get 50 people out on that runway and they'll all go in a line and they'll just walk and then they'll systematically photograph and pick up everything and bag it and collect it. Part of the process is to make sure they got all the parts and then they're going to actually put that airplane back together in a hangar someplace. So they would have known at this point there'd be some video of a vehicle on the runway. That's not what happened. Um, could they have picked up something that was left on the runway? Certainly, that could have, that definitely could be a possibility. And uh, the preliminary report will probably tell us uh, what happened. All right, I've got, uh, let me see, Bur uh, Burger uh, FPF, all right, whatever. Uh, in other videos, you mentioned that planes can fully fly with loss of one engine. Why was this not able to? Well, it's because they lost two engines. And that's in the last update video on this channel. Uh, now, were they getting any power out of that number three engine, the one on the right wing? Most likely they were getting some out of it, but not enough combined with the number two engine, the one on the tail, to get airborne. When they first got off the ground, they were in what's called ground effect. And at the very ends of the wings, the air kind of tumbles off the air end of the wing and doesn't give the ends of the wings the last five feet or so much lift. When you're close to the ground, that tumbling effect is interrupted by the ground itself. So you actually get a little bit more lift out of the ends of the wings. Once you get out of ground effect, then you lose that effect. So they, they got the nose up and they kind of wallowed into the air. They were still in ground effect, getting that little margin, that little 2% extra lift off the ends of the wings. And then they got up to, I'm going to say maybe 50 feet altogether. The NTSB said 400 feet.